Several Resident Evil projects are on the horizon. It's a very exciting time, but one of the most I'm excited about is the Resident Evil rebooted movie universe. I did make a video on that recently, talking about the cast, the characters, some story details that we know, so make sure you go ahead and check that one out too. Since then, there has been more developments in the form of set photos, so we're going to take a quick look at those. And I do have to say, they do look quite a bit like the video game universe. That is a huge shocker to me. Because the original Resident Evil movies barely resembled the video game universe, besides Resident Evil 1 and 2. So that does give me a little bit of hope. The characters are all pulled from the video games. We know we're going to see Raccoon City in the Spencer Mansion. Seems like it's going to be really cool. And as far as specific story details, it seems like it's going to focus on Resident Evil 1 with a splash of Resident Evil 2. My prediction is this. I think they're going to focus mostly on the Spencer Mansion incident and have Raccoon City as a backdrop just to kind of flesh out the universe and set up all the little seeds that will lead to the eventual Resident Evil 2. I could be wrong about that. Some people do have the possible theory that it's all Resident Evil 2 with flashbacks of 1. I want to see the full Resident Evil 1 story fleshed out. But we'll see. Official full-blown story details haven't been unleashed just yet. Let's go ahead and check out some of these set photos. As far as the Resident Evil 1 aspect of everything so far, we've gotten a look at what seems to be the Spencer Mansion. The Spencer Mansion on its own could be categorized as a Resident Evil character. It's got a personality of its own. This specific area looks very similar to the upper level where the dining room is below. You know, the one where you push the statue off the second floor to get the Tiger Eye Jewel. And if you get it too early, it just sits in your inventory taking up a slot. Yeah, that happened to me on my last Resident Evil stream. I completely forgot about that. It looks old, it looks decrepit and creepy as it should. And here's Raccoon City, or at least some sort of Raccoon City suburb. Nothing much to see here except for some houses, but from this image, you could possibly get some aspects of the story. Just like the game's umbrella's got a stranglehold on Raccoon City, they literally own the city. And that likely means some areas are more impoverished than others. You can see a car gutted, missing all sorts of parts. If you look closer at the house next to it, it looks foreclosed with graffiti all over it, and a demolition in progress sign. If you look carefully, the Umbrella Corporation logo is also there on the bottom of that sign on the sides. There's a Raccoon City sign under a bridge with another one next to it saying you are now leaving Raccoon City with more graffiti over it with a message that makes it seem like citizens don't care much for Umbrella running the place. And of course Umbrella as they ride around the city have these black painted armored vehicles with Umbrella logos splashed on the sides. Here's another one, a truck possibly holding some kind of bioweapon or troops scrambling as the outbreak starts becoming worse. Very suspicious looking vehicles to say the least. If you're a fan of the games, you know there's specific landmarks that any fan can point out just by looking at it. Here's something that looks like the entrance to the Raccoon City Police Department being raised, another look at it from further away, and a quick glimpse of what it looks like on the inside. And it is the Raccoon City Police Department. You can see the RPD sign right there at the top with some of the police cars parked outside. I don't think they could have made it look any better. It looks like they just copy and pasted it. Not to mention the police car itself says Raccoon City Police Department on the side of it. Here's another shot of the police department with the gates open and you could take a peek inside if you get a closer look and it looks like it's gonna have that old art museum look from the games and this right here had me super excited gun shop kendo the infamous gun store from resident evil 2 where kendo gets eaten at the beginning of the game or is holding up with his infected daughter depending on which version of resident evil 2 you're playing of course the original or the remake or come to think of it the resident evil 3 remake jill also interacts with him and the lore he made custom weapons for stars and he was good friends with them so i hope we do get get some scenes with Kendo interacting with them more, perhaps before they head over to the Spencer Mansion. Maybe they pick up some equipment from Kendo. And we're definitely getting the Resident Evil 2 story in some way. I don't know if it'll be told within this movie, or perhaps this is an after credit scene setting up the sequel, but you remember that green truck that almost hits Leon and Claire at the beginning and causes all sorts of chaos with the infected driver? Check this out.
That same green truck headed into Raccoon City. Looks just like it, too. At the time of this recording, that's all I've got for you, but my confidence in this movie is at an all-time high. The creative team behind it seems to understand the video game universe more than the previous movies. I know there's been some hesitation around some of the cast members due to them not fully resembling the main characters completely. I don't really care about that as long as they make the story interesting and add in plenty of fan service. Otherwise, I think this movie's on the right track. It could be terrible, but it could be awesome, too. Let's give it a chance. Let me know in the comments section below what your thoughts are on the set photos and that video, and I'll catch you guys later. Since you made it to the end of this video, I assume you enjoyed it, so why don't you go ahead and smash that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell so you don't miss any new content. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, links in the description below, and if you'd like to support the channel, you can join my Patreon or become a channel member. This is Fabian, I love you guys, and I'll see you next time.